Hey YouTubers, CJ Productions 1996 here. And this is just a little update on my vehicle situation. <laughs> um, I recently, as in yesterday, uh, bought a 2005 um, Ford Mustang GT, as you can see by the GT symbol there. V8 with a 5 speed. I'm pretty sure all GTs are V8, but uh, for those of you that don't, don't know that. Um, it's blue, as you can see. <laughs> if you couldn't tell, it's blue. It needs some work. Um, this fender was replaced, and it's missing the splash guard that goes inside, and the uh, antenna, uh, and the antenna mount. And I want to get new headlights for it, a new grill, because um, I don't like the fog lights in the grill. Uh, and the headlights are fogged out a little bit because they're plastic. Um, it started life um, back in 05 um, as black. It has been in, in like three accidents, I believe. Uh, and they decided to repaint it to blue, which is exactly what I was looking for. Um, so my plans with this, um, I'm going to keep the everything stock. I think engine, transmission stock. I might do exhaust. Um, I kind of like the stock rims, so I'm probably going to keep those. Uh, it needs new tires soon. Um, let's see what else. I'm going to put some stripes on it. Some white stripes. Um, I'm going to get some LED sequential taillights. Um, those are only 200 bucks, and these ones, um, aren't sequential, so I want that. <laughs> um, but pretty cool feature when you... When you open the door, watch. Look at the window. The window rolls down a little bit. So when you close the door, it goes up and seals. Um, the interior is in really nice condition. The only thing I've noticed is the, uh, oops, is, uh, this is a little, and the silver thing came off of there. Um, you want me to, well, it's going to put the, can't the phone, my, cause I'm filming on my, my, uh, iPhone. I could put the iPhone back here and start it cause it sounds really nice, but I guess you guys can hear it from the inside. <clears throat> it's really hot right now. The sun is out. So here's the interior. It's a five speed right there. I think I might get a different shift arm cause I don't like the way this looks. Um, like a saggy piece of leather with a tiny little shift knob and I kind of want like a little chrome arm and a nice shift knob uh, it's got cruise control the AC it doesn't blow cold so I'm hoping it just needs a recharge um, it's got the little pony in it right there um, what else like I said the interior is actually really nice um, it's got 115,000 on it I think yeah 115 Oh, it's his driver door. Hold on. 115,000 right there. <clears throat> so if I push in the clutch, make sure it's in out of gear. Yeah, it sounds pretty nice. <laughs> Uh, it idles nice. It drives really nice. There's some, um, I think the tie rods are bad. Um, it, or actually I think that tire, that rim is, uh, out of balance. It, it got hit. So the, the, um, the wheel wobbles pretty bad once you're at going like 80. Um, another problem with it is the driver or the passenger side door doesn't roll down all the way. Well, it doesn't roll down at all, but it does go down when you open the door. So the motor's not bad. It's got to be an electrical problem. And the radio doesn't work, which I want to get a new radio anyway. I want to get a, a double din, uh, like Bluetooth mega nice radio. Um, actually, I haven't seen, I haven't checked if this spare key works. It doesn't. Huh. That's weird. I don't, I don't know why. Maybe this is just a door key. 
Huh. Um, but it's got, let's see, this window works. Um, I was about to do detail, like cleaning it out, uh, cause it kind of smells a little bit. Um, but it's got the key fob, which is nice. I like that. Um, it just needs some odds and ends. I mean, I've priced everything out on like these little rubber bumpers are missing. So it sits in and it rattles. Um, I've been pricing some stuff out on, I think it's AmericanMuscle.com. And so far what I want to do to it is going to cost like a grand. Um, that includes like getting all this, the plastic stuff and the other GT symbol on the side is missing the other side. Um, so all that stuff to get it to where it looks nice and I'm driving it um, is going to take like a grand, which I actually, <laughs> funny story. I have, this is on Craigslist in New Haven, Connecticut. And, um, for $59.99 it was listed. And so I, I, I found it three hours after it was put on Craigslist. So I was like, oh, hell yeah, I'm going to look at this. So I waited, I found it on Tuesday, the last Tuesday. So I waited till Saturday, which was yesterday. And we went down there with a car hauler. The, uh, that truck, my dad's truck with a, it's got a 16 foot car hauler on the back. Um, and, uh, so we went down there and we get there, we're looking at it, you know, we take it for a test drive. I drive it. Um, I like it a lot. It, it, it's, it's got some really nice pull when you get on it, it's going to go. Um, so I, uh, you know, we're looking at it and stuff and, uh, <clears throat> and I was like, oh, my dad, who, he's a genius, uh, he's very smart, uh, and he works on cars a lot, but he's a mechanical engineer, electrical engineer, um, and he's, he's really good at haggling prices and stuff like that, so, so the first trick to always haggling prices, never, never say a price, because my dad says, oh, so how much were you looking to get out of it? Remember, it was it was posted for six six grand. This guy goes, oh, I'd like five. I think I was thinking five. And in my head, I was standing there. I was like, oh man, this idiot forgot how much he listed it for. <laughs> and so then I was like, oh five. Um, well, I mean, the AC is not not blowing cold, and it's got the other plastics it's missing in there and stuff like that. I mean, would you take forty five for it? And then he's talking to his friend, because his friend is the one who owns the car. Um, who speaks Spanish. He, he speak, spoke like no English. Um, and he was like, well, we'll take 48. And I was like, deal. So 48, got the title, loaded it up, took it out of there. Man, I'm so happy. So 4,800 bucks for this thing. I saved 1,200 bucks, which then I can now put towards the racing stripes, the grill, the all that jazz, the radio. Man, that's so. Never name your price. You can always win with that. If because if if they say you know a thousand dollars more, if he had said seven thousand, I could be like, no, no, you said six here. So you can never lose with that situation. Um, but yeah, this is my new ride. Got an auto craft battery in there. Nah, I usually do red top batteries. You know, nothing but the best. So there's eight cylinders. I need to change that. I, I think it's just basic maintenance on it, you know, like filters and oil filter is is, is dirty on the outside too. Um, he probably didn't change that, but it has a lot of pep. When you put when you put your foot down, it's it's going, man. I took this on the road uh, with another plate, my front plate for my Jeep, and oh boy, I got up to like 95 before I even like merged onto the onto the highway. <laughs> Like, it's very fast. <laughs> um, but yeah, like here I said, the GT symbol is missing. Um, and this is the rim that got hit. See, there's even damage on that lug nut right there. <clears throat> um, but they did a pretty decent job repainting it, uh, which I don't care. I like blue anyway, and I'm not making this a show car. You know, this is going to be a driver, um, so I won't have to worry about it. But yeah, and then here's the red Jeep. I sold that to my father, he drives it, and I bought my Jurassic Park Jeep. So this is, this is kind of an update on my whole 
vehicle, vehicle situation. Um, I got a winch on there, 8,000 pound winch. <clears throat> Just probably wasn't like that's illegal. Casey lights up there. Um, redid the interior, but this is perfect, exactly what I wanted. So I'm happy. That guy, the Mexican's happy. I gotta take it to get a car wash. It's not legal right now. It's got no registration or inspection or plates. And the DMV's closed on Sunday, so I gotta wait till Monday. My father has to add me to his insurance. Then I have to, I'll probably do it Tuesday or Wednesday. I'll get it on the road legal. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe, and give me some suggestions. Um, I think I'm going to get LED headlights too. But uh, yeah, uh, thanks for watching. See you guys later.